So did you notice the brick and other textures on the 3D printed version of the stairs? Textures and colors can really make the assemblies look better and can be a lot of fun too. Right now I've got a starting and a semi-finished version of the stairs up on the screen. If we look in the folder for number five appearances, I've got both of these files for you to play with. I'm going to come in and double click on this top bar and maximize this back out. So this part has multiple bodies. We'll play with that in a bit. But there are a couple different ways of changing the part color. One way that I like to change the entire part color is to come over to the very top of the feature manager tree. If I right click, I can either go to the beach ball or down through appearance and appearance and change the color. Now this will change the color on the entire part. Now maybe we don't want to do that. So let's cancel out of this. If we look over on the right side of the screen, I've got our beach ball icon over here as well. I've gone in and expanded this out a bit. We've got a number of different categories, plastic, metal, painted, rubber components, and even under plastic, there's a few other different colors. I've gone in and I've pinned this open so this bar will stay on the right side of the screen as we drag and drop things in. Let's take a look at the high gloss examples. Now, we've got a couple down here. This is another place where I've seen some people have problems. Watch what happens when I go in to add this to the part. It's as simple as dragging and dropping. Maybe drop it on that face there. But now this dialog box pops up. Do I want to apply it to the face, to the entire feature, to that body, or to the entire part? Now, if I don't pick one and just go off in space, it doesn't actually drop it unless I choose one of those options. So maybe we come in and just color just that one face. That's great. There's a bunch of different examples. I usually like looking through the organic and the miscellaneous categories. And there's grass. And maybe I want to change this entire part to, to look like grass. I'll do the whole body. Okay. We can see the grass on our steps. But notice the red color here is over that. So there's some hierarchy in how we apply colors. Face colors will override feature colors, and those will override body colors, and then the part color is something even different. So there's different levels. Let's come in and take a look at some of these others. Underneath the stone, we've got some, some different brick options. Now some of these will come in and apply as textures. Some of them are going to require a real view option. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's come in and use this old English brick number two. If I drag this onto this face, this is what I used. But look at how it's actually mapping the, the texture on the end face. It's got it running vertically instead of horizontally. What I was having to do was come in and apply it to a face and then apply it to the face over here. And we've got a little bit of a scaling difference. Let's take a look at how we can adjust that. We see this beach ball again over the top of the feature manager tree. We can see the different things that have been applied red, grass, and then our two brick options. If I right click, I can edit that appearance. From here, I can grab on this little rectangle and I can increase the scale to try to get it to a point where, you know, the front and the sides, you know, match. Maybe a little bit bigger, you know, something like that. You can also move it up and down to, you know, match up the lines. Where do I want this to go? Yeah, I'm not the most artistic person, but yeah, we can go from that. Just to get it looking a little bit better. There's other options for concrete, and asphalt, different ceramic, architectural. I think what I used on the finished one was, was granite, so I can apply that to the entire body. 
Maybe we can really start to have fun with this. We've seen some of the kids in the previous kids' camps really enjoy adding colors and textures to their model. If we come over to the very last icon on our Heads Up toolbar, there's an option for real view graphics. Now this is going to depend on your graphics card. You may not have this option. What that does is it kind of turns on some shadows and some reflections. We've got shadows that we can turn on. Okay. And then we've got ambient occlusion. I usually call that fancy shadows. Those are a little, little bit better shadows. You know, typically we wouldn't work with these on all the time, but they are kind of fun to mess with. The icon just beside that will let us come in and change the scene. Let's set the, that to yes. There's a couple different options. Plain white, different, different lighting. A rooftop lighting, but there's some out here that actually have a scene to them, and you can rotate this around. Maybe put this over in the corner next to the next to the wall. You have all kinds of fun with 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 this in in 3D. So there's some different options to play with. It all comes down to your creativity. We can we can see what we can do. Maybe we come in and, and put this in a courtyard. But there's a couple different examples for scenes and textures that we can apply to our model.